Hi, darling. How are you? How are you doing? How are you? All right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think so. Yeah. Yeah. But I just it was sad. Like I don't know, just like when I saw the I was on Twitter that night and then I just saw the the guy from is it Okereki Anthony? He just put that tweet and I'm like, Oh my god. I know. And I just had to tweet. I don't really like tweeting but I had to tweet with like two young boys, two families mm -hmm. and I I just I went back on my own experiences. That's yeah. the thing, it will Come do. Come on now, just... that, that's... And I just feel so angry. Yeah. But then again, I'm like, you know what? Uh, since I've been in this situation, mm -hmm. I never, never, like, blame the government. Because I, I wasn't... I'm not, I don't care. Mm -hmm. But I always believe in us. Yes. Yeah, the exactly. People is power. It was like, my experience, like, I've got people now that I never knew that I would have. Mm -hmm. You know? I know Ryan through this. I know so many young kids who are really good. It's not really about mm -hmm. that bad. But also, I'm like, um, what are daughters doing right now? We really don't support each other. No. There is a I do have a community more than, like, I don't know if Ryan came to the funeral, like, hundreds of people. I've got other, I just know so many people. I mean, so many people, usually. But mm -hmm. I see what i'm doing they don't understand they don't want to learn mm -hmm. and it's really sad to want to be in this situation to try to help yes i've been i wasn't aware of this but if i'm in the community and one of us is going through this you mm -hmm. have to know you might be next yeah this is then the thing. it can let's happen try to, to do anybody. something together but we know everyone is doing their own things because mm -hmm. i've got a question every day i keep asking myself there are so many organizations, they're doing good things. Yeah. What's going on? Yeah. But that's how I started, Howard. That's how I, yeah, because I got to the point, because I've supported people all over the years. You know, I've always done the music, you know, like I'm yeah. DJ and finding, you know, the best artist in the UK. But then there was also all of this knife crime and, the, mm -hmm. you know, the exploitation of kids and the, you know, yeah, the, the death of young people and, I'm support. I was supporting lots of people, um, but it got to the point like, hang on, nothing's changing. I just can't believe it's just happening in England, but like it's a big country and all of that. And then kids are dying for no reason because mm -hmm. there is no reason to die in this kind of situation at all. No, like no, no one. It could to all be, be prevented. Yeah, yeah. it is and preventable. What, um, now I'm starting to be angry with the government. You know, I was kind of into us, but really, I know if they want to do something, they would do it. Yeah, of course they, they would. Just putting these courses on young kids about sex and everything. Yeah, it, it works. Mm -hmm. Why can't the knife crime or another crimes? Yeah, yeah. why not? Exactly, and that's I what I keep puzzling they, me. They want it, mm -hmm. but also I feel let down about our, our own people, like communities, parents, teachers, who can go through what I'm going through who are not just trying to do anything, you know, but also in this kind of organization, there's people who are in it mm -hmm. to gain something. There is fake people. There is this lady who says something about, um, you know, there were so many fake people. There is so many fake people yes, yeah. who are using people who lost their children and mm -hmm. what they want. Horrifying, I know. And it's really hard. So mm -hmm. it's like I, I'm, I'm starting to lose hope from this. Well, I just, I want us all to be hopeful going forward, right? Because I definitely have faith that we will make changes, all right? But we have to, we've got, it's, it's how we get the government's attention, right? Because that's what I'm struggling well, with. Well, the thing, like, if it was together, one solidarity, we could just shake them. But we're mm -hmm. not. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I mean, That's how many that we should be doing? Because we've been outside, hundreds and hundreds of us, right? Outside, I've done New Scotland Yard. I've done yeah. the Houses of Parliament. I've done in my own areas. I've done like you name it. I've done it. I've but yet yeah, and yeah. nothing, right? Even people going all over the news about it, nothing, right? Yeah. Then I'm thinking, 
because the last few podcasts I've done, it's been like, right, what could we do? You know, like something drastic, right? Where we just go, not, and I'm saying, I don't want to do anything like these oil protesters, right? Because mm. they're actually inconveniencing normal people in their everyday lives, right? We want to inconvenience the people who can actually demand a COBRA meeting <laughs> or, you know, we have to get that meeting because mm. that's the only way we're going to get change. That is the it, really. But how do we get the Prime Minister to do that? Yeah. So the petition, that's... we can do it, yeah. right? But it's no good if I'm only on 475 signatures, yeah. right? We need 475,000, <laughs> like, yeah, right? Yeah. So that's long, but I'm trying that. Um, you know what? I think you guys are doing a great job, and I feel like... I, I, I'm so angry, really. I feel drained. I feel... I'm not surprised. I, I, because that, you've done so with, much, you know, after... About other kids who are Tamim's friends, who are kids that I don't know, who are really good kids. Who doesn't deserve yeah. in all of this? Ryan is gone. Uh, yeah, I thought he's, yeah. he said he might have to go. Okay. So, you know, so it's just kind of like, is it really a joke? You know what happened yesterday night? It's exactly the day that Damilola died in the same oh area. Yeah. And you can imagine what the parent is going through. And guess what? People think like, oh, you know what? It will get better. It doesn't. No. You get. No, we're, we're angry, witness angry, to it, aren't we? And the more you see young kids, like um, your son's age or your daughter's age, you see them, you just think about your kid. And this, this thing about someone being killed and, and ill is so different. Yeah, so completely. It's just kind of heartbreaking to see like Tamilola's parents waking up for this news. Why are they going maybe to lay flowers on their sonny's, you know? Yeah, and then hearing that Wait. as well. Yeah, the same. And it's the fact no change. There's just so after no... 22 years. This is what I mean. It's more than before. Yeah. So it's like, oh my God, what are we going to do? Yeah. Now, what I wanted to say to you, because I remember the, when I saw a speech that you made, um, I think that was on the memorial that when the... you did that. Yeah. yeah. And you were speaking about Glasgow and you were speaking about, I think, the public health approach. Yeah. Did you say about that? Right. So what I wanted to tell you, because I don't know if you know yet. Right. So that is already in motion. Right. right. So you see that public health approach, right? So all the laws come in for that. Right. Supposedly, everybody started that, right? But because of lockdown, um, there was a bit of a delay. Oh, yeah, of course. Right? So with that approach, because, you, you know, you probably know a bit about that anyway. So that takes 10 years to work, right? So that means right. that if, say, none of us do anything else, but they continue doing that, in it'll probably be about eight eight years now you know what things it's, will be different right. i understand but the thing is that we have to just like because at the end of the day like damilola's family is more than 20 is 22 years today so since then war changed it's way worse than it was before yeah yeah you know what so let's do that but what we do still doing something before that you know? Yeah, but this is what I'm, that's exactly right. So, yeah, in 10 years, if they, you know, continue the funding and they, ca you know, we well, trust them to just do it. Just like, it's just becoming difficult. When it comes to money, like, yeah. like nah, we can't do that. Right, so Sorry. I'm, yeah, that could all work out in eight years. Yeah. But my issue is that right now we have to do something to, you know, okay. at least put things in place to protect young people because it's so shocking it's no, not there's really, so many things like what the hell is going on like really two kids in one night two families mm -hmm. are no i just it's no, i know it's shock. yeah absolutely all let down about the whole thing really like the justice system is bad like the councils are bad like everything is bad the parents yeah, are schools you know yeah. anyone but really we're not doing enough as parents you know, mm -hmm. because like, you know, there's people who think like, oh, you know what, maybe there was in a gang or something. Well, mine wasn't. Yeah. See, this I'm is. Be there. And I hate this thing about saying like, oh, you know what? It's a wrong place or wrong time. It shouldn't be wrong place, wrong time. He should no. be 
everyone. He was in his school uniform. You know, so after school. Yeah. But, so I feel like parents need to be educated more. Mm -hmm. Well, yeah. we're trying. I don't know if you've seen the initiative that I'm part of. So, Parent Carer Champions. Oh, where is it? Is it on Facebook or something? Um, well, I do it in person. So, in Southwark, right? So, oh. I've been doing it for, this is now the second year, right? So, what we do, we do workshops for parents and carers, right? Oh. Two days of workshops. Right. Um, train them. At, um, to be able to go and then speak to other parents and carers mm. or at schools or coffee mornings or we do online events we did one last we did two last week actually mm. right I so we share information yeah we tell them you know where local services are like for mental health mm. um, education right. uh, exclusion any you know special support in school you name it, criminal yeah. justice, right? You couldn't, it's brilliant, right? So the London Mayor is, and the Violence Reduction Unit, they are yeah. um, putting funding in for that. So we've done it for a year, right? Mm -hmm. But what, and we've just done another load, another new um, cohort of um, parent care champions. But it's like, we should have had lots of people wanting to be involved, right? Mm. But it, it's been hard work to get people to want to and i know people's oh, lives are busy people are here to just you know educate people you know and really parents are uh, i don't know it's just like they don't want to know maybe or maybe they are so busy but the thing is this once you are in this situation you over like your trauma is gonna stay there for the rest of your life and yeah. really you don't want to be in that situation trust me mm. yeah mm. You just have to, it's not only about you, it's about your kids, it's about your future, it's just ruin you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, people think that I'm really, really strong because maybe what I believe, like God and everything, but the way I try to look at things, but really, I'm not really okay, you know, mm -hmm. and I don't think I will be ever be okay. But the thing is that people don't want to learn from, you know, from this the is the thing. Yeah. And how this is what, because I struggle. How it's like I, I'm try, always trying to convince people, break it down. You know, like, yeah. Certain people just get it, though. You know, yeah. like they just understand it. They just, they know how dangerous it is out here. Yeah. It's really dangerous. I can't just leave my kids. Well, I never used to leave my kids anyway. That was the first year I started to make a deal with Tamim. Now, you know what? Okay, I can leave you, go with your friends and everything. But now, this is the thing, because yeah. at a certain age, right. you know, kids exactly. want to be yeah. given, you know. But, it be kids. but it's like, it's so That's dangerous out there. Really. But the thing is, they don't understand. But also, they just don't know how dangerous that is. And also, I've got other young kids, they're growing up. I'm like, I can't leave them even like, in front of the gate and that's not fair on them no you know so it's that's just... what i mean they should be allowed to be kids have fun yeah. be protected you know uh, it's just yeah and that's why i've got to keep keep I pushing it, you're doing a great, great job and i really wish that it works you continue to do what you're doing because we really don't have so many people who are doing what you're doing yeah, because I, it's like, I've realised kind of that the safe is the safety aspect, even for young people to go anywhere. Yeah. And there's nothing. It's like, I really, you really want the patrols. Yeah. But that we're pushing for the police with the community. Because like you say, there's loads of community organisations. So why can't they, you okay. know, donate a couple of people per week? Yeah. To go out and keep our children safe on the street and the kids want it the uh, young people were asking for that yeah i don't know i, I don't know what to say anymore really yeah, i know i know exactly what you mean because that's where we've got to that where it's like we've kind of minimized the things we're gonna do and we're really focusing on that mm. like the petitions yeah. We're definitely going to go back to the make noise and knife crime. I'm yeah. definitely yeah. starting that back up. To help, I was kind of low, low key because of the the trial and everything, and I think we're finishing on in December the second. That will be the last day, so I'm 
going back to my work and everything mm -hmm. after that. So anytime, anything that you want me to help, and then I'm here. Okay, brilliant, my darling. Yeah. Because um, I'm thinking, I mean, because I was determined this year as well. It was like, right, this year, yeah. get action, right? By whatever means necessary. Um, mm -hmm. And here we are. It's like nearly December. I know. Um, you know, like I've been thinking of anything drastic I could do. You know what I mean? Yeah. But I also don't really want to get nicked and arrested. No. <laughs> <laughs> no. But, you know, it's getting like that. Oh, because... my yeah. It's just mad. Really... Uh, Christella's saying, um, we made it easy for everyone. What else can we do? It's true, right? So everything we thought of mm. has been, because we know people are busy. So just things that would take a few minutes. But people would rather get into a heated debate with you, right? Yeah. Or about, it's the parents' fault. It's the school, right? Or you know what I mean? Rather than yeah, just sign the petition, right? <laughs> like, take a minute and sign it. That's, yeah. Someone is asking. If it doesn't work, it doesn't work. But at least you That's try. That's what I mean. You right. Know? So let, let's just try it because no one has, right? And I know this for a fact, there has never been a petition demanding an emergency cobra hmm. for our kids. There's yeah. never been one, right? They've done it for the weather. They've done it for, what else have they done it for? COVID. Oh, right. Right? So why can't they do it for our young people? And mm. that's what, yeah, that's where I'm at. We need, to, we've got to get that meeting. And I'm almost ready for them yeah. at that meeting. I'm almost, because I've been getting all the sections, the parts that we need sorting out. Right. I'm almost there with what it is that we want, what we're demanding um so yeah and i'm just and the petition i'm i'm adding things to as well so this is something that's going to be edited along the way so when we get that meeting everything is on that you know what keep doing your, the good work that's all i can say today i feel like i don't know what to say i speak a lot but today i feel like i'm i'm feeling so angry mm. and just like I couldn't sleep well because of what happened yesterday night. This is what I mean. Every time I hear myself and I, you know, I haven't personally lost one of my kids, but that every time. Yeah. And well, I cry. I don't need to lose. Yes, it's different, but you don't have to lose your kid. You just have to just imagine as a parent, you know, how bad yeah. how you would feel. Mm -hmm. What can you do from that? Mm -hmm. Exactly. Yeah. People can do something from that, but. You said like, not... you know, these days I'm feeling sorry for myself. Like, why do I have to do this? I'm the one who lost the parent. People should just feel sorry for us and do this for us. You That's know, it. Yeah, because well. this is oh, what really, I say this a lot. We're really Helen. exhausted, like yeah. trauma and everything. The exactly. Putting in everything. But well, it is what it is. We have to do something. Mm -hmm. And this is what I talk about this quite a lot. The fact of bereaved parents, family members, yeah. you know, they want to help. Have Others not, to not have to go through it. It's the daily basis. It's the way you just wake up every morning. How mm. hard it is. It's the process about burying your son. It's a, the process about not having him around for the rest of your life. It's the yeah. way those kind of expectations you have for your son. Is the way the justice system works. Mm. There is so many things going on. And that only can kill you. Mm. And it's, it's, it's too much. Me, abilities you have to work you have to study you have to look after other kids it's a lot of things so mm -hmm. we kind of need help from everyone yeah because and part of that help should be yeah people standing up and yes. saying no we've got this we're yeah. we're gonna stand up there right because it they it's just i just don't get it how they don't it doesn't dawn on people no because that dawns on me every day when i see you out you know Parent, yeah. bereaved parents fam out there you know putting their all and they've already got enough and even if the help from this for the victim family mm -hmm. is rubbish trust mm -hmm. me so you just have to just stay strong and you know what just pretend nothing happened although you are dying inside mm -hmm. do what you have to do every day just but people have no idea 
I had no idea. Now I've got an idea and I feel so more angry, more hard. Like, mm -hmm. I can't tell you really, it's just hard. Mm. And the fact that, yeah, nothing's changed since. No, nothing. And that is, I think that's, that adds to everything because it's not, you know, what, what is it? This is the other thing. What is it going to take? Mm. for people to stand up right so we had like i was saying earlier we had someone who went into a secondary school recently with a machete and went for kids right we had the the man strangling a, st a student strangling another student and then threatening with a knife anybody who came near right mm. we've got incidences happening outside people being ambushed at school right at what point are parents going to go well hang on it's, are they, it's, it's not safe for them to even go to school. So the school needs to put something in place. But a lot of the schools just are in denial until something happens. That's true. Oh, I've been in so many experiences. It's just like those details, especially because I'm, I'm going through trial, I can't relieve yet. But oh, my God. Really hard. Oh, I can't even imagine how, yeah, what really... you must be. Well, I'm going to let you go. Yeah. Just, um, I was maybe I'll see you on Sun on Sunday again. So because I yes, have yeah, because I'm yeah, I'm intending I'm, to yeah keep please let, keep doing what you're doing. You're doing an amazing job. Thank you, my darling, and you yeah. too. All right, I'm so proud of you. All right, sending um, you lots and lots and lots of love. Right, so and yes, hugs. Please, my darling. But yeah. thank you so much for coming on today. Really good to see you. All yeah. right, you too. Thanks. Right. Bye. Bye, my darling. All right. Take care. Oh, that was lovely to get Howard on. But just, you know, it's just hard.